Hello, my name is Abara Abbasad. It is 9.14 p.m. August 20th, 2019. So I just uh, went for a walk and um, uh, the scouts was, uh, were out. There was a Chinese scouts, the Sri Lankan scouts, the Indian scouts, because uh, the contract was up and uh, these, uh, these managers, I heard Raj, uh, Joe, um, Melina, people from my family, uh, they were calling me back. Ranty, Rick, these are the people who are with government, quote unquote, whatever, if it is, um, contracts to surveil me, obviously. So, um, all the normal uh, conversations about effing whores and used to be a prostitute and effs herself and um, um, uh, the Chinese transferred her all over the place and she's an animal and everybody saw her and everybody knows every everywhere knows her everywhere she goes. So these are the comments. Kids, of course, are involved in it. So this is the lynching program that's around 25 Bamberg Circle here in Toronto. Um, so, uh, as I walked out, um, somebody red alerted me and, uh, my legs and my hips were being pulsed repeatedly and my ankle as I walked. Chinese people around me were commenting, you're not allowed to walk this late and you're not allowed to walk by yourself. What a dummy, and uh, you're a dummy, um, I'm not talking to me directly, but between each other as they pass by, you're a dummy. Um, the sister-in-law, her sister-in-law, quote unquote, certified her and stupefied her and she's mentally retarded. And the sister-in-law is listening to me and she's logged into me all the time and she's counterindicating because she has nothing else to do at home. So she's doing this and maybe she's getting paid for it, I heard just like the workers in the building. Um, so this is a part of the experiment that's going on. Um, of course, I have the right to tell people to stop harassing me. I heard that the cops were called and I heard the cops red alerted me. So the cops obviously are running the experiment of the red alert, which is really a containment program for people who are in the trafficking program because the many informants who are um, getting the contract to surveil me are actually trafficking with the cops' knowledge and the cops' participation and collusion. So really what happened this evening is part of the trafficking. So um, what's going on in this area is, um, the, is the, the equivalent of Epstein keeping his girls thousands, I would say, you know, tens of thousands of girls around the world. But the ones who he had around him, who he was using to record um, and blackmail and whatever else, um, he kept them contained because these girls were operating in a closed environment. They were controlled. They were surveilled. They were constantly on the camera, which is exactly what's going on in this area. Of course, Epstein had a lot of cover, or the cops and big people all over the place, uh, all connected. So this is exactly the same thing that's going on in 25 Bamberg Circle right here in this area. The Chinese are containing for the traffickers, Chinese who's selling to all the other informants, quote unquote, which are, who are really sex slave operators. This is the cover. The Chinese are uh, containing me. So this is exactly what's going on. As time goes on, and because the S Epstein case, um, you know, was blown wide open and his ring and all the connections, I'm studying what happened in his, um, in, in his scenario. Uh, it's exactly a duplicate scenario here in Toronto. So I heard that the politicians were involved, the cops are involved, uh, professionals are involved, obviously, because people like Carlos are talked about outside the window as somebody who raped me remotely. So this is, this is said by the worker who I haven't had in court. 
And of course, uh, the case was dismissed because I tweeted about it. So I'm let you. I'm gonna let you uh, draw your own conclusion on that. So, um, so this scenario here is exactly the the scenario that Epstein had in containing the women that he was selling and using. So this is the public um, a public uh, run of what uh, the cops and the people they're working for, the dirty ones, the dirty cops and the ones and, and the people they are working for and who are tunnel tunneling women into this into this um, into this trafficking ring to be used remotely by companies who are employing me. So all the companies who employed me, uh, especially in the last little while, in the last uh, years after I started at Triovest, um, these people were actually employing a sex slave, a slave, without my knowing, of course. None of this has been disclosed. Why would it be disclosed to me? Of course, it's not going to be disclosed to me by anybody who owns me who is the informant, the person with the receipt, who is orchestrating the containment program. So what happened this evening is um, anytime I told somebody um, in an in a indirect way, verbally, of course, uh, not loudly or aggressively, not to harass me, they would call the cops and say, we need to drug her. She's anxious, over anxious. She needs to be drugged because drugging is an essential part of trafficking. Like Epstein, there was a lot of drugs involved in his uh, trafficking ring. Uh, drugging is a, an essential part of trafficking. Rohini Bessasa was, was drugged. She had to be. She was mentally committed, drugged, and imprisoned. And uh, she claimed that her uh, pubic hairs were were um, were shaved off. Well, judging from the conversations I recorded and put it on, put on the YouTube from the workers, people who are who are um, who are talking outside the window, um, the remote trafficking is for gerbling, is for is for penetrating your genitals with frequencies that I demonstrated um, on my YouTube videos. Um, the radio frequency uh, uh, frequencies. Um, uh, there's now haptic technology. There's sonic technology. There's ultrasound technology. So all these technologies are being used because these are very, 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 very rich people who can afford anything. So why not these technologies? So these technologies are actually being used to customize, to train and customize remotely, and then sell physically. None of that has happened to me. The selling physically, that is, although it's been tried. Um, the remote customizing is uh, is ongoing. I'm tweeting about it. I'm blogging about it. I'm talking about the technology. Um, it's been going on. It has been going on for a long time, uh, but it's not. It was not always about um, remote rape. It was about. Um, it was first they study you, then. They experiment with you to learn about you, and then they try to um, customize you. So there's a progression, a step-by-step -step progression of this program. So it wasn't always about rape. The rape, the physical rape uh, uh, that I could tell, maybe um, these signals were subtly um, um, put into your body that you would not, um, I mean, if you didn't know about this technology, you would definitely not know that you're being accessed. Uh, it's very possible that um, you know, bodies are being accessed, not only mine, but generally and generally anybody in any house or an apartment, could, this could be done. You would never know unless you had a detector with you and you saw the pattern. Um, it, it could be done for years and years and years. So it could be voyeurism, it could be for masturbation, it could, then it escalates into re customization, remote rape, and then physical rape. And like Paul Bernardo, kidnapping, torture, and murder. This is the progression of things. And I'm sure a lot of people are um, being uh, pipelined into this, boys and girls and women and men, which is why I'm speaking out. 
So this is what happened today. There is no uh, anxiety. Um, uh, somebody, uh, I have a right to tell somebody to stop harassing me. If somebody passes me and say you're, uh, she's an effing whore, or the little kids with kids, um, you know, uh, I have a right to defend myself. There was no threats. Um, didn't threaten anybody. Um, but uh, you know, it, when somebody, when it, it, it's really like everybody you pass, I'm making comments about this lynching program. Really, I'm being lynched out of the out of the area. But why leave the area when really I'm exposing a ring, much like Epstein's ring, with a Chinese slant? Somebody in this building chose me to customize me. Most likely the Chinese warlords, because they are the one who is in, who are infiltrating. The Chinese are the people who are infiltrating. The Chinese people who are working with the warlords are infiltrating my workplace, infiltrated the, um, my family. But before that, it was all white men. So it's not only the Chinese. It's, I'm not being racist saying the Chinese. Right now it's the Chinese, because I'm in the Chinese area. They probably picked up the contract from the all white men and the pedophiles who were following me around when I was 17 years old, when I came to Canada. So I'm not being racist. So the Chinese, the Blacks, the Sri Lankans, the Indians, the Caribbean, so that's not racist, it's amongst all ethnic groups. You're being traded back and forth. You're being passed around. Now, could you imagine these uh, uh, radio frequency signals that you cannot detect without a detector, uh, you cannot, um, there's no way of knowing that you're being affected without a detector. Um, by now, I'd say most people are being affected this way while they sleep. Because from comments I heard um, by criminal looking people who follow me around, um, I'm, I'm suspecting that um, the, the city is divided into areas and the gangs who access people inside their home while they sleep, they divide the city into certain areas and they are fighting for turf and they're selling people while they sleep at night. Because I'm a target, all kinds of crazy people follow me around and say all kinds of crazy things. So I'm in a position to collect this kind of information. So I'm suspecting from what I heard um, you know, comments that, that set around me that the city is divided and that there are certain gangs who are operating in certain areas who are selling people inside of their home as they sleep and accessing them without their knowing. Their targeting is not public, so they will not know. They will not know that they are targeted this way and sold this way. So the, the ring operates throughout the city and are selling innocent kids in their bedrooms without their knowing. This is what I'm suspecting is happening. This is why there is such a huge push to get me out of the area, get rid of me, dispose of me, shut me up. There is a huge amount of money like Epstein, billions, trillions, huge business. And a lot of people are going along with it because they're scared or because they're making money, whatever the reason. If it's if they're doing it without consent, then fine. Um, but if they're being coerced into doing it and they're sold covertly, then that's a whole different question, a whole different scenario to be dealt with. And of course, some of the dirty cops are in on it or else it wouldn't be going on for so long without being exposed. Talk to you another time.